An auto dealer conducted a test to determine if the time in minutes needed to complete a minor engine tune-up depends on whether a computerized engine analyzer or an electronic analyzer is used. Because tune-up time varies among compact, intermediate and full-sized cars, the three types of cars were used as blocks in the experiment. The data obtained are as follows. Use alpha equal 0.05 to test for any significant differences. So to answer this question, we're going to set up the following ANOVA table. And we first want to fill in the degrees of freedom column. The total degrees of freedom is equal to the total sample size, which is 6, minus 1, which comes to 5. The treatment degrees of freedom, well the treatment in this case is the type of analyzer used, and there's two of those and 2 minus 1 equals 1, so there's one treatment degree of freedom. The degrees of freedom for blocks, remember the blocks in this problem are the types of car, and there's three different types of car, 3 minus 1 equals 2, so there's two degrees of freedom for blocks, and then to calculate the error degrees of freedom we take the total degrees of freedom 5 and subtract the treatment degrees of freedom 1 and the blocks degrees of freedom 2 and we obtain 2 for the error degrees of freedom. Moving on to the sum of squares first of all you want to calculate the total sum of squares and for that you need the overall mean which is 50 in this case and then if you use the formula in the textbook for the total sum of squares we obtain 310. Next moving on to the treatment sum of squares. Again using the formula in the textbook this time we need to use the treatment means and the, the mean of the three computerized readings is 56 and the mean of the three electronic readings is 44 and we use those two values together with the overall mean in the formula to calculate the treatment sum of squares which comes to 216. Next the blocks sum of squares. This time we use the means for the different types of car. So for compact cars the mean is 46, for intermediate cars the mean is 49.5 and for full-sized cars the mean is 54.5 and if we use those three numbers together with the overall mean and use the formula to calculate the sum of squares for blocks that comes to 73 and then to calculate the sum of squares for error we take the total sum of squares 310 minus the treatment sum of squares 216 minus the blocks sum of squares 73 and we obtain 21 for the error sum of squares Next, the mean squares. That's the sum of squares divided by the appropriate degrees of freedom. And they come to the values shown in the table. And then the F statistic. The F statistic that's of most relevance here is the one for treatment. And that takes the mean square for treatment divided by the mean square for error. And that comes to 20.57 and to find the p-value we need to look up an f-distribution table an f-distribution with one numerator degrees of freedom two denominator degrees of freedom and 18.51 has a 0 0.05 upper tail 38.51 has a 0 0.025 upper tail our f-statistic comes in between 18.51 and 38.51 so the p-value must come in between 0 0.025 and 0 0.05. Since we're doing a test at alpha 0.05, all we really need to know is that the p-value is less than 0 0.05. So therefore we reject the null in favor of the alternative, so there is evidence that the tune-up time depends on the analyzer type.